What's happening, everyone? It's Peter, founder of Expedition Money. Today, I want to talk to you about a strategy for TV streaming services that will hopefully save you a lot of money, but actually may help you streamline your TV watching and movie watching habits as well. And this is a strategy that I call streaming service laddering. And I have called it that because it's based on another strategy, CD lettering. So if you've been in the banking world, or maybe you've owned CDs in the past, and you can do these with bonds as well, but we ladder them, we buy them with different maturities so that when one matures and becomes due, we have another CD or a bond that we can roll it into. So it's called laddering because we just ladder them. And particularly at the beginning, we might buy a one-year CD, a two-year CD, and a three-year CD so that we have money maturing each month and then can pick a strategy for it in that following year. So that's really the strategy that I want to apply to streaming services because there is a big problem with streaming services. They have become pretty expensive. And from the time that I cut the cord from cable, a lot of streaming services have popped up. So a lot of content when I originally cut the cord was in Netflix. So you can subscribe to Netflix, get a lot of content, but a lot of the different studios have pulled their content away. They've created their own streaming services. So now there are a ton of streaming services, including Amazon Prime, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, HBO Max, or what they call just Max now, Disney Plus, Peacock, and many others. And so I wanted to talk about some of the main ones here, and I'm just going to focus on six of them. For example, I'm just going to round the monthly cost for these up to the nearest $10 just to keep the math a little bit simple here. But the problem for people like me and maybe for you is that you've cut the cord from cable, you've saved yourself some money, and slowly you've added on these streaming services. And now your monthly cost may be as much as it was with cable or maybe even more. And so how do we get rid of certain services? This is where the streaming service laddering comes into play. Let me give you a quick example here. Let's say I have Netflix for $20 a month, YouTube for live TV for $70 a month, Hulu for $10 a month, Max for $20 a month, Disney Plus for $10 a month, and Peacock for $10 a month. That comes out to a whopping $140 a month of streaming service subscription costs. That is as much or more than many of the average cable bills out there. And so you might be saying, Pete, I need all these because some of the shows I really like are on this service. Some of the shows I really like are on this service. Some of the movies that I really love are on another service. That's all well and good. And what if I told you you could still have all of them, but for the cost of just one of these streaming services. And this is where this little organizational tip actually can also help us stay a little bit more organized and stay a little more sane when we are seeking out content to watch. So the strategy is pretty simple here. Instead of subscribing to them all at the same time and picking and choosing what we want to watch, what I want you to do is order them in the order of importance of their content. So let's say there is a TV show that you just have to watch it's a series that's over and you want to catch up on it and you just love it. Maybe it's on the Peacock channel and that Peacock channel is $10 a month. If you're going to start with that, then avoid or cancel all the other services except for Peacock and just subscribe to Peacock. Now you have a monthly bill that's only $10 a month. You are watching one show until it's done, maybe several seasons of it. And then you'll also see if there's anything else on the Peacock network that you want to watch. Maybe there are some other movies that you've always thought about and you go through all of the content on that particular streaming service before you replace it or ladder yourself into the next streaming service. So once you get done with that, maybe you say, hey, I've really wanted to watch that show on Disney Plus, so I'm gonna add Disney Plus now. That's another $10. So you cancel Peacock, you add Disney Plus, and now you exhaust all the content that you wanna watch on Disney Plus. And now you cancel that and add on, say Netflix for $20 a month, and you watch all of the Netflix content that your heart desires until that is exhausted. And then you move on to HBO Max and Hulu and YouTube. And the benefit of this is that instead of subscribing to all the services and maybe actually having too much choice and finding yourself frustrated because you just can't decide, you can slim down the choices here, maybe make it easier on yourself on that Friday evening when you're trying to find something good to watch. You are reducing your monthly bill by maybe 70, 80, 90%. And over the course of the year, you're still going to watch all the same content. You're just doing it at a fraction of the price and you're helping yourself streamline that process and maybe just add a little bit of sanity back. So if you want to watch streaming content easier and cheaper, try streaming service laddering. I think you might experience all the same benefits that I am. Hopefully that works for you. I'll see you later.